<laughs> it's so hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Good morning everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from Cajeti region in the Republic of Georgia. If you guys don't know about Cajeti, this is the wine area, right? This is the most famous place in all of Georgia to drink wine. But today I'm taking you to explore Signaki Town, also known as the Town of Love. It's made up of walls, towers, and lots of delicious food. And right now we're starting off at the biggest monastery in the country. It's also one of the most important places for Christianity. A lot of pilgrims come through here. All right, so this is Bodbe Monastery. Bodbe was founded uh, by Saint Nino, who was one of the first people to uh, preach Christianity in Georgia. Uh, this was the place that she died. Her grave is here. And it's, uh, there's a holy spring which she uh, created, uh, which people come to for healing. And yeah, it's a super important place for Christianity in Georgia. So right here, you see the church? That's actually not really old. It's only two years old, right? Mm -hmm. It's not a... Yeah, it's been recently built, but they did a really nice job in the old style. Um, very beautiful building, and there's an older one off on this side. And so her grave is over here. It yeah. dates back to like the 6th in, century. Yeah, inside, inside the brick church, uh, which I think brick church was built around the 18th century, but is built on top of like the places where there were older buildings where her grave was. Exactly. Know? And over here, we have an epic view. So what valley is this? The Alazani Valley. So the Alazani River comes down from the mountains, uh, and this is one of the, the best uh, climates in Georgia for growing wine. So this entire valley is filled with uh, vineyards and uh, with, with wineries, and we're gonna go there later today. All right, guys, so let's get in the car, and let's go straight to the town. I'm excited, I'm very hungry. He was telling me we might try a, a kachapuri that is like a kebab kachapuri, right? Yeah, kachapuri on a stick. Kachapuri on a stick. Yeah, That's exciting. it can be done. Cheese and bread every single day here in Georgia. Absolutely. Get ready for that. Yep. And also a lot of wine. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna come to Signagi. You have to stay at Lost Ridge Inn. That's where I stayed last night. We had an amazing time. They have a brewery, you know, it's a hotel, restaurant. Incredible, you can go horseback riding if you want. You know, we didn't do that, unfortunately, because the weather this morning hasn't really been cooperating. But I'm excited to go see the town. Say it's really cute, it's pretty, mm -hmm. and uh, also the Las Vegas of, uh, of Georgia. Well, they've got a place there where you can get married 24 hours a day. 24 so, hours a day? Yeah, so like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can go get married. So if you have that special someone in your life, you can just come to Signagi and get married. So now you know, if you want to get married in Georgia, come to Signagi. You can get married there any time of the day, 24-7. All right, let's get in the car. Okay, awesome. Look at this viewpoint. So right next to the zip line, you have incredible views of Signagi. All right, so you see like there's one part of the city walls right here. Um, the city walls actually go on the other side of this part of the town. So this part of the town was maybe built a little later than these walls because these walls like circle around like actually what's now a large piece of forest on the other side. Perfect. So if you want a great view of Sinagi town, come here to where the zip line is and there you go. Incredible. So it's basically on a hill, right? So you have the hill and you have the valley back there. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. Let's go see it. We literally drove for one minute and we are inside a town. It, it reminds me of like an Italian town, right? Cobblestones, um, beautiful architecture, lots of colors, the balconies all come out. That's like traditional style, right? Exactly, exactly. So, uh, the Georgian architecture has these balconies. People hang out, talk to their neighbors, like see what's going on in the town. Sure. And this is the main square of the town. So we have the fountain, we have the wedding palace right there. Over here we have a few vendors. You know, police, bank, market. I mean, small town, obviously really early right now, 9.30 in the morning, you know, it's starting to wake up. So right next to the fountain, we have a little kiosk selling, you know, souvenirs, hats, jewelry, table runners. She has the horn for the wine, just random stuff, right? Okay, so then I go up here. So can we actually see anything here? Yeah, so they have the wedding palace here. We can check it out. We can go inside and see uh, the 24-hour the, the wedding house. If we want, we can get married. I don't think you're taken already, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm taken, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so the wedding palace is basically an old house, right? Beautiful balconies. If you want to get married, just go inside. It's basically like a courthouse, right? Same thing. Okay, let's see we exploring. So we're making our way up to the top of the town to where the city hall is. And what you see here, basically small bakeries, a few more souvenir shops. They're selling kachapuri, obviously 
bread is like the most important thing in Georgia. So you're gonna find bakeries everywhere. Cheese and bread. It's nice. Day's getting better. It was pretty muggy this morning. Rain like crazy last night. But now, clear skies. The sun's out. And I'm hungry. Yo, I need a katapuri on a stick. So this is just a traditional craft. Uh, ladies are like uh, knitting socks, uh, like warm socks out of wool, and also like slippers out of felt. They're doing other things out of felt, like little bags. So yeah, so if you want like a real traditional souvenir, you can buy one of those hats. I mean, the wool right now, it's a little too hot in summer, but winter for sure. And over here, look at these cute bags. How much for the bags? Five? Yes. Five for it's one? Five lari on this ten lari. So Those 10 lari, five, so five is like a dollar fifty, dollar seventy, right? So the bigger ones, 10 lari, big 10 lari so like three dollars, three US dollars. Ten or five. Nice, I like them. Okay, I'm gonna take a, a few for family. So what do you think, Tim? Which one you like? I think this one for my oldest, for Melina. Five lari, this one. Five lari? Yes. Okay, and then this one as well. I like it because these have Ladybug, right? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, super cute. And then I'll take this one too. This one yellow. Maglova. Maglova. Yep. So you have like 20 more vendors like this, right? Similar. So after City Hall, there's a small park. Cute place, right? They have uh, some swings over here, some stuff for kids, right? So a little playground. So you just keep walking through. I mean, it's literally just like one minute walk. And then more vendors, right? Yeah, we're gonna come out on the other side. We're gonna head down towards the city walls. Then and who's this? This is uh, Solomon Godashvili, he's like a philosopher from the 19th century who was born and uh, grew up in this town. And over here we have an incredible view of the town with the valley. And here to the left we have the city walls, right? So this is like one of the watchtowers. Yeah. Really old, 300 years old. Yeah, so like the wall just comes down here through the middle of the town. Like now the town's like built on both, both sides of the walls. And over here, we have an incredible view overlooking the town, the valley, some towers over there. But over here to the left, we have a piece of the wall with another watchtower, right? And that just keeps going down. It keeps going around the whole thing, right? Yeah. So like the way the city is built right now, actually more of the city is outside the walls than inside. So this is actually going like into the walls here and the walls come around like this area, which is now mostly forested. But when we're going to go down the hill, we're going to cross over to a part of the town that's inside the city walls. And here we have one of the gates of the town. Looks like a medieval city with this, right? Yeah, the watchtower, you have the brick arch. And it's only 300 years old, right? Yeah, it was built uh, in the 18th century as a defense town against uh, Persian invasions. But they used a lot of these like old architectural elements. Okay, well, lots of cars here. Just know there's car traffic going through here. And as soon as you pass the gate, over here, more souvenirs, right? Mm -hmm. But these are, these are like more authentic. These are like really beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we have like carpets. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So these Georgian out of, colors? Yeah, weaved out of traditional patterns, uh, with traditional designs, traditional kind of dye, dye colors, yeah. So this lady is a famous resident of town. Uh, she uh, sits here, she lives here, she knits, uh, and she creates all these beautiful handicrafts. Uh, out of wool. Yes, my boy Alex is telling me that she's 90 years old. You can see her every single day selling her crafts, right? So definitely support her by, you know, if you have kids, babies, buy some of these, really <laughs> cute. I personally so like the hats. Yeah. But she makes the hats? She says she makes absolutely everything. Absolutely everything she makes. I'm gonna try on one of her hats here. Oh, it's not cold enough for this though. Okay, so let me try on a hat. The other ones are made of wool. This is nice. What do you think? Good color? It looks good on you, man. The one I have, which is obviously traditional, but uh, you know, less designs. Mm -hmm. This is very similar, right? So they always have the cross that is like the symbol of Georgia Christianity. Mm -hmm. Let's try it on again. See if it fits good. How much is it for this one? Okay, I take it. So for 25, I'm gonna take it, right? So it's like seven dollars. Obviously, always support the locals if you can. Obviously, buy more. To be honest, I don't need that much more. I already bought, you know, a few of these for my kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. Present. A present too? <laughs> You're too much. What is it, like little socks? Mm -hmm. They're actually for pinkies, right? <laughs> Keep your pinkies warm. <laughs> tiny bit, tiny bit too, too small for me. Let me see if I can get a bigger size. So along this street, all you're gonna find are souvenir shops and guest houses, right? Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, so you have some souvenir shops, some guest houses, some restaurants. That's basically what's what's uh, going on here in Sivanari. Cute old town, a popular place for tourists.
Now it's time to eat, and we're here at Cusica Restaurant. Hey, my friends, how you doing? So you're making kinkali there? Kinkali? Oh, the best, the dumplings. I need one. Soup dumpling. And they're also making kebabs. Oh, it's like a sea kebab. I'm starving, I haven't had any breakfast today. It's already 10.30 in the morning. Look at this. We just saw him making kinkali, and over here he's doing some kebabs on the grill. Amazing. And look at this. Epic views. So this is a restaurant and guest house. They have a pool, but my favorite part about it is the views. Look at this views. Wow, so you have the whole valley. Over here we have the walls. Over here, pool. And they have three rooms in this guest house, right? So they got uh, three rooms at this uh, guest house uh, and restaurant. Now they're gonna show us something really special. Uh, they're gonna do hot chapuri on a stick. So let's go check it out. Walking through the whole building here. Yep. So in front of us, another terrace here. So you can have lunch here. This is the main building. It actually reminds me of a Venezuelan Tecanos. I mean, just the way it looks. So she put like huge chunks of cheese on the skewer. Then she wrapped them in dough. And then from here, it's gonna go on the grill. Yep. Yeah, grill, not, not big. Grill. Yeah, it's gonna go on the grill. And when you thought it couldn't get any fattier, she added mayo and eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, makes it a little sweeter, right? A little creamier. So while we wait for the cacciatore stick to be done, we're gonna have some cha-cha. <laughs> and this is, so you have three different variations. What are they? Peach, this oak, this tarragon. So I'm trying the peach. Oh, peach that's nice. Mmm, it's amazing. 50%. So, and that one is? Oak. I don't know how many of these I can have in the morning, but we need to eat soon. ASAP. <sighs> oh, wow. Oak one's good. I like the peach one better, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was strong. Well, let's try this tarragon cha cha. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> so right here we got kababi. So this is uh, minced meat uh, which has been grilled and like uh, covered with like, onions, herbs, and spices. Salad with uh, tomatoes and cucumbers uh, and uh, walnut paste, uh, which is a traditional thing that Georgians add to their salads a lot. This is called shkmeruli. Uh, it's a dish from the region of Racha, uh, and it's uh, chicken in uh, garlic sauce and. Uh, here we have uh, eggplants, looks like eggplants and uh, peppers, and they're all both stuffed with a uh, walnut paste. And this one is called uh, chakapuli. Uh, it's a traditional like spring dish uh, made of uh, lamb and uh, plums and tarragon. Beautiful views, nice people, amazing food. I cannot wait, I'm excited. Oh, this is gonna be so good. This one right here, this is red pepper stuffed with walnut paste. Mmm, here they love their walnuts. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. That's too good. And right here we have eggplant with walnut, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So soft. Mmm, love the paste, man. So much walnuts here. Mm -hmm. I've never been to a country where they've eaten this much walnut. Obviously in Greece they do a lot too, but here it's very different. I was gonna jump on this first, but the amount of cheese oozing out of here <laughs> is so hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, this is like a, the biggest tequeño I've ever seen. In Venezuela, we call it tequeño. Cheese stick, right? Oh, wow. So I'm gonna try the kebab first, right? Love this. It's like a sea kebab. Mmm. So here it's always pork and beef mixed, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I love this, the chicken with like, so you said it's garlic, right? It's not just a creamy sauce? Yeah, gar garlic, creamy, creamy garlic sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice chicken. Wow. The sauce is so creamy. It's like a, it almost reminds me of like a creamy pastas that you have in Italy, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm. It's starting to pour now. It's all good though. And over here we have oh, one of my favorite things ever. Lamb with some herbs. Mm. Mm. The amount of herbs in there. So earthy. Mm. Nice lamb. Tender. What's the name of that dish again? Chakapuli. Chakapuli? Mm -hmm. Chakapuli, a must try. And over here, 
salad. So we have tomato. We have uh, well, this is a cheese that fell from the, from the <laughs> gachapuri, but tomato and cucumber, right? Mm -hmm. I've never had lamb like this before. Mm -hmm. Just with the herbs, you know, the mix. Mm -hmm. And this is definitely a dish for a hangover. Mm -hmm. You know, oh yeah, that broth. Uh, that sourness to it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My boys over here are telling me that I have to get some bread and just dip it into this creamy, creamy sauce. Look at that. Just drown it a little bit. It absorbs it. No words can describe what I'm tasting right now. <laughs> oh, if you like cream, this is your dish. Cream and garlic, for sure. Kachapuri on a stick. Look at that amount of cheese. <laughs> Dude, the glob. Mm. Oh, wow. So this is the same cheese we always have, right? Tuguni. Tuguni, yeah, the mozzarella style. Okay. Yeah, so mozzarella style. Obviously this one, it's a little harder, a little denser because it was on the grill. But now I'm gonna have, you know, with the bread. Mm -hmm. This is like the ultimate tequeño. Okay, Venezuela, very similar. And this is tarragon soda. They love tarragon here, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, so it's like, it's, you know, earthy, herby. Tastes like a little bit of mint, you know? The soda though. Mm -hmm. And what are you making for me? This is uh, vegetables and uh, kebab. Okay, so vegetables and then here we have minced meat, right? I've never seen a kebab with this. So you have eggplant, meat, eggplant, meat, eggplant. Then you have a pepper and then, so two different peppers, a red and a, and a yellow pepper, a green pepper. And he stuffed it with more lamb in there, right? Yeah. So it's lamb and beef always mixed right see the lamb yes. or and beef or lamb and pork at the very end he put like two chilies and an onion and we wait so we have a chacha chacha i have very good chacha oh i know i know let's have another one let's do it let's do it let's celebrate <laughs> all right we are gonna eat this incredible beef lamb kebab right with this secret sauce so it's like walnut this herbs in here oh my god <laughs> that looks incredible so it's almost like almost like little patties, and you mix it with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. The sauce is like a chimichurri, mm -hmm. eggplant chimichurri. That's what I'm feeling. Mm. Super good. Oh man, I love this minced meat. So it, it's both lamb and beef, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. A little spicy. Mm. -hmm. And I'm gonna jump on the one that's inside the pepper. Get some of that. Oh man, getting hot, huh? Feel some chilies in here. Mmm, -hmm. <laughs> they perfectly cooked. Mmm, I can't get enough of this. Love this secret sauce. Wow. Mm. I can't have a meal without eating a chili. Eating the whole thing. Mm hmm. How much is it? Also spicy. Oh. And uh, cha cha. Okay, go Marjos. Go Marjos. Friendship. Go Marjos. And uh, peace. Go Marjos. Go Marjos. Go Marjos. Go Marjos. Go Marjos. Shoot the pasta, mega brothers. Go Marjos. Tasty. And this is the one made of tarragon. So I tried the other two. This one's way more like herbal, right? Like mm -hmm. almost medicinal. Strong stuff. Tarragon cha cha kill corona. That's what they all say. <laughs> the best place to eat in town is this restaurant. You cannot miss it. And before we leave, we're gonna go up the walls. As you can see, we have the walls, we have a bunch of towers. You can enter from literally right here. It's like a one minute walk. You have a few vendors, and then the watchtower. I think this is the best part of the town. The walls. Wow. Look at this, so you got the whole valley. This is the lower part of the town. You have more 
you know, the walls keep going around. I go around the whole entire thing. So basically, Tim, this was all fortified. The town is over here, though. Fortifications go around what's now this like sort of valley and uh, forest. So originally, like the they, they would have just had this like upper area fortified, and this like lower area uh, just like closed in, so enemies couldn't get in. Like, later, the town expanded this way to the rest of the hilltop. All right, guys, we did it. We explored Signagi, 18th century walled town. Beautiful place. We started off at the oldest or the biggest monastery in the country. Yeah. And then from there, we made our way through the town. We went to the square. We saw all the crafts, women, right? They're yeah. all selling souvenirs. Yeah, selling the stuff that they've knitted, like out of wool. And we checked out this restaurant, Kusika. We uh, had like some local specialties, khachapuri on a stick. Oh, so good. Khachapuri yeah. on a stick. Basically, the massive cheese ball in your mouth mm -hmm. with bread absolutely absolutely yeah. <laughs> chicken right. and creamy garlic sauce lamb and like a uh, tarragon and white wine delicious stuff yeah well guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content we'll see you in the next travel food adventure here in georgia Woo! let's go